In this video, I'm going to attempt to paint a commercial area mat that is right as you step inside my shop. It is rough material. You probably, you can see what it is here and it's got ridges. So it's going to be a little tricky to paint. So the first thing I did was wet it because I want the paint to get into the rug material and not just lay on the top. So after pouring the water, I also wet my brush in water and applied the white paint. This is beadboard white. So the next thing was to apply some color to this rug. This, this, or mat. This was really tricky to paint. Um, the paint goes on differently as it would on canvas or a piece of furniture. It did go on there, but you know, it was a little trickier and it wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be, but things were happening and the color was starting to appear and I was just very curious and interested to see just how this would come out. This is my first time doing this. So, it's a little bit of a journey. So I have to tell you, I really wasn't sure what I was going to paint on this, but um, since I recently painted lips on the traveling bag, I don't know if you've heard about that, go to my Facebook page and you'll see what that's all about. But anyways, I figured I will paint lips on this big rug. So when you walk in, it's kind of like you're walking into these big lips, if this works out. And by the way, can I just say that I use my Paint Pixie brush the whole time and I use the same brush for all the colors. Always using water of course because like I said I want that water to get into the mat and not just stay on top. And, um, and yeah so that's just kind of how I went and uh, it was looking pretty good I do have to say so. Like the lips were kind of fading into this rug which was dark to begin with and that was part of the trick I guess so I wanted to outline it a little bit I felt like the lips didn't pop enough and I feel like they need to pop kind of like when I wear red lipstick it pops and that's the whole purpose of the red so a little bit of outlining with the black I think helped and as far as the teeth I didn't even have to do teeth because it kind of just they were there from the white that I put at the very beginning. So I kind of liked that that worked out and it was a little bit less work for me. Now it's just shading and outlining the lips. So I tried to do a butterfly IOD stamp. That came out, kind of, sort of. And the next thing I wanted to do, because I felt like it was just one big fat red lip and that's all that was there. So I tried it paint some flowers on there. You can't really get fancy with the flowers just because of the material of this mat. It's a little tricky to paint and do detail. So I just did little round roses and it kind of fill up, filled up some of the space. So that was good.
So back to that butterfly. I felt like you couldn't really see it and I really wanted it to show up on the red lips. So I started to outline it in copper patina because I thought maybe the copper would make it pop. Um, it did a little bit, not too much, and I think that's just because of the rug being so dark to begin with and the material that it is and all of that. So I thought that maybe I would re-stamp it again with paint and define it a little bit more. It wasn't like I wanted it to look like, but it was better than um, it was when it was when I first did it. So it did show up a little bit more. I wanted to add some drippy paint so I wanted to test and see how this was gonna work out I loaded my brush with paint I wet it the paint as I usually do when I make paint drip and nope no drip it just was not going to drip and I guess I was a little persistent because I really really wanted this paint to be dripping and dripping on the lips and it just was not going to work my way no matter how much water I put on it. decided I would pour paint that I had mixed with water and see if that would drip. It did not, but that's okay. It kind of looks like uh, someone threw paint at the rug. So I guess it's all good in the end. vision in my mind that I wanted to have like these stem of flowers or bouquet of flowers coming out of this big mouth right where do I get these crazy ideas from I have no idea but this is what I wanted to do so I just tried to do that on the rug again a little tricky the shading was tricky but I managed to make my, my flowers a little bit different and um, I think it added to the rug so that it wasn't so like there was just these big fat red lips on there. There was also a butterfly and there was also flowers. So while I was painting I had the idea that I wanted to put foils on this mat and I wanted to put cheetah foil. So I did. I tried it on the mat itself on the lips. It did not work. The, the foil did not adhere to the mat itself. However, the border on the mat, the rubbery part, I thought that that would work. So I did. I applied some foil adhesive and I cut my cheetah foil into big enough pieces so that they would go all around the frame of this mat. So I was excited to see how this was going to come out. I did leave it overnight so that it had enough time to dry. Usually it doesn't take overnight, but um, with the humidity and all of that, that does affect the adhesive. And it's been very hot and humid here, so I knew that I had to give this extra time. It was time to take off the foil and see if it, any of it actually stuck to the rubber part of this mat, which it did. It actually did, as you can see. I was pulling the foil off, it was coming out clear, and the cheetah print was staying on the rug. I did seal this rug with polyurethane only because at the moment the shop is out of all of our DIY sealants. So will this rug stand the test of time? Well, I can't wait to find out. Please join me in the next video. See you then.